I'm Joan Epler. Please join with Dr. Gary Epler, Harvard Medical School. Dr. Epler discovered a new way of life. Today, we're going to talk about trust. I'm Dr. Gary Epler. The new way of life is knowing who you are moment by moment. Trust is fundamental for success. What do you mean by trust? People are their true selves. They're going to do what they say every time in all situations. They're consistent with their actions. You believe the person will do what is expected. There's a sense of optimism. The person will do the right thing. There is no uncertainty. You can rely on them. What are the benefits of trust? Trust increases the quality of interpersonal relationships and makes social life more predictable and enjoyable. Trust creates a sense of community, and trust makes it easier for people to work together. Can you give an example? Friends and coworkers tell you they'll support you for an upcoming proposal at a high-level meeting. It's going to be intense. If they're acting as their true selves, they will support you regardless of what happens. They won't criticize you. They won't blame you. They won't make you look bad or embarrass you. A controlling relationship where people are not their true selves is the opposite. If that presentation goes poorly, they will attack you and publicly humiliate you without hesitation. How do you know when people are their true selves? People need to know who they are moment by moment. What does that mean? This means know where you're thinking from, and that's who you are. There are four locations you can think from, and you can only think from one location at a time. The head brain, the heart, the gut, and the mind, which is outside the body. What does trust have to do with being your true self? If you're not your true self, you're thinking from the brain stress center, and you're thinking about yourself. You're thinking about ways to make yourself feel good by making someone else look bad, by criticizing them, blaming them, or making them look weak. If you're thinking from the head, then there is no trust. If you're thinking from the heart, with kindness, empathy, and giving, then there is trust. That's a big difference. Why would someone think from the stress center? Because it brings a tiny dose of what I call chemical pleasure from that accumbens brain center. What do you mean? There are three independent regions in the brain. And each region wants to be in charge of your life 24 hours a day. The first is the anger center. It's called the amygdala. The second is the stress center. Whenever you're thinking about yourself, that's called the cingulate. The third is the addiction pleasure center. And it's called the accumbens. When it comes to no trust, the stress cingulate center and the addiction accumbent center are involved. Could you give an example? If you're thinking from the stress center, it feels good to blame someone else because this gives a tiny amount of chemical pleasure from that accumbent pleasure center. But it feels so much better to take responsibility. You make a mistake, you do something wrong, take personal responsibility. This feeling comes from the heart. It feels good to criticize people and point out their faults, but it feels so much better to give because this is from the heart. Another harsh example. If people are thinking from the stress center, revenge will make them feel better. This is chemical pleasure. Forgiveness is 1,000 times better because it comes from the heart. A final example, negative thinking by always talking about problems is the same thing. This is a chemical pleasure. 
I call this chemical pleasure because it's from the dopamine chemical in the brain. It's short-lived, addictive, and unhealthy. This creates no trust. The feeling from the heart with kindness and empathy is not from a chemical. It's healthy and creates trust. Can someone change thinking from this chemical pleasure center to thinking from the heart? I hope so. It's very hard. It's very difficult because thinking from the singular stress center is a lifetime of conditioning using this tiny amount of pleasure. If you challenge that, they will respond with anger because you're taking away pleasure. They need to realize this is fake pleasure. It's chemical pleasure and it's not healthy. They need to realize that thinking from the heart with kindness and empathy will give them a good feeling, that 1,000 times better feeling than that tiny amount of fake chemical pleasure. Thinking from the heart feels good. Puts a smile on your face. You stand tall with shoulders back and chin straight and eyes bright. Seeing the good in all things. People can trust you because you are not trying to be anyone else. This is a great feeling compared to the chemical pleasure from blaming and criticizing others. Close personal relationships give us a long and healthy life. Is trust part of this relationships? It's an essential part. A close personal relationship is with someone where you can be yourself without having to think about what you say or worry about what you do. There is no judgment, no criticism, and no blame. You always have each other's back, no matter what happens. Trust is a natural part of these relationships. Develop trust by being your true self. Do you have any closing comments? Know who you are moment by moment. This means know where you're thinking from, and that's who you are. Build trust. Bypass unhealthy thinking from the stress center, and think from the heart with feelings of kindness, empathy, and giving. Thinking from the heart is fundamental for trust, and it's healthy and feels great. This is Joan Epler and Dr. Gary Epler. Closing today's segment, next time we'll talk about feelings.